Internet J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a really easy way to do jumbo twists and I will be starting on stretched hair. I actually used four packs of this jumbo braiding hair and it was perfect for this protective style. I think I'm actually going to do this style again with red hair because I just really loved how it lasts and how it looked. So this is a closer look of what the hair looks like. I divided each pack of hair into three, so four times three is 12. I had 12 twists overall. And this is the amount of hair that will be added for one twist. And as I've already mentioned, I will be starting on stretched hair, so if you'd like to see how I like to stretch my hair without heat, just click on the I card right here. It's a really simple process. All I do on wash day after I've rinsed the deep conditioner out is apply a little leave-in conditioner and oil and then I braid each quadrant of hair and that's pretty much it. I let it air dry for the next day and here we are now where I am going to use a paddle brush and just brush my hair out. Of course, I'm being very gentle. This whole video is sped up for the sake of time. But if you want a more in-depth video, make sure that you click the I card and I'll have it down below in the description box for your convenience I changed shirts just because I wanted more of a contrast from my hair that you could see I felt the shirt was just a little bit too dark I'm gonna repeat the process on the rest of my hair and it's gonna be fully stretched by the time I'm finished All right, now that I have fully stretched my hair, I am ready to start on these jumbo twists. I'm gonna start in the back first. I always like to work back to front when I'm doing my hair. And I'm parting a medium sized section in the back, about three inches high. I feel like this is an appropriate size for a jumbo twist. And here's what the first section looks like and I made sure that the parts are nice and clean because they are going to show. Anytime that I do protective styles, I do try to make sure that the parts are nice and clean and I'm just going to divide this section right in half, down the middle. To help with longevity of the style and that it can look nice and clean, I'm going to apply this Miracle 9 edge control right to my roots and smooth it in with a brush. Anytime that I am doing a style where I know I wanna have it in for at least a week to two weeks stretching it, I use edge control and smooth it in with a brush so that it does look nice and polished and clean for the duration of the style. Now I'm gonna take this rat tail comb, divide this section of hair in half, horizontally and then I'm going to place this jumbo braiding hair so one third of the pack right in the middle just like so and I'm going to take my actual hair and secure it right on top of the braiding hair and I'm going to use two rubber bands I always like to double my rubber bands up so that it has a little bit more stability and it does not break so the styles do look really good the whole time my hair is styled this way I don't want it to just look good on day one or two but the whole time I'm going to have my hair styled this way and then I took my actual hair and just combined it with the jumbo braiding here in those two sections and just started my twist it's a very simple process I love doing two strand twists all the times as a protective style or a low maintenance style because it just allows my hair to have a break and breathe and also it's very convenient I don't have to worry about doing my hair and fluffing it out and doing all of this all the time when my hair is styled this way, I just make sure that it's protected while I go to sleep and I'm good to go. I also apply a little edge control as I'm twisting my hair down just to prevent any flyaways and that my hair, my actual hair and the jumbo hair can really mesh together all the way down. This hair is pretty long and I really liked it. It was very different for me, but I just really wanna make sure that it looks cohesive at the same time. And I also have to add, make sure when you are twisting your hair, especially with this added hair, twist it very snug. And as I got to the ends of the braiding hair, I did apply a little bit more of the edge control and here is how one twist looks. And here's the first section all completed. 
I'm gonna continue the same process on the rest of my hair and I'm gonna show you the technique a few more times. And I still plan to make a video on how to make clean parts, so stay tuned for that. And I'm all finished the back section and here's how it looks. And fast forward to the last twist, I was so happy because I was almost done and then I can move on doing something else with my life. <laughs> this whole process took me about 30 minutes to do. Because I'm very knowledgeable on doing my hair, it just was so simple and easy for me to do.
and I know that the braiding hair doesn't match my natural hair and that's totally fine because the way I'm twisting my hair and really making sure that it locks in with the braiding hair, it didn't really show. Like my actual hair didn't really show so it didn't matter that my hair is a whole lot lighter. It just came out very nice. And I'm all finished twisting my hair. I love the way that these twists came out. They look very moisturized and juicy. I just went back and twisted a couple of the ends of the twist. And to help make sure that the ends stayed nice and secure, I applied a little bit of this Hold It Tight Honey Gel from Miracle 9 as well. And this really just helped to smooth down the ends so that they didn't get all frayed. Just like that, I am all finished. I absolutely love the way that these twists came out. They lasted me for a week and a half. I did redo the twist once, but overall, I really love the outcome. It gave me a different vibe, a little bit of spice, and they look so good. I'm thinking of doing red next for fall. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.